Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we are going to learn, or continue to learn, how to play Anastasia by Slash. So make sure you check out the first lesson in this series. We did the whole acoustic intro and stuff, little finger style stuff. And now we've made it um, to the lead guitar parts, and it's kind of really kind of Yngwie-esque solo that, you know, Slash is doing. So this happens a couple times in the song, so I'm going to work you through this, and then the main rhythms, and uh, some of the fills and stuff in the bridge in this particular lesson. All right, so let's get to it. We're going to start here with the uh, That's 10th fret on the B string Then 13 12 13 10 And then back to 13 back to 12 and back to 13 so it's a pedal point basically that keeps going back to this note So just the notes between that note. So that's what's going to be going on throughout this whole thing. Now I'll do the exact same thing, just one fret higher on the B string. The other notes stay the same. So all together. I'm oh, sorry, one more. All right, now take it up to the 12th fret here. You're gonna hit the 12th fret on the B string. And the notes here on the high E are gonna be between 15 is the pedal point, so it is 15, 13, then back to the 15, down to 12, back to 15, back to 13, and back to 15. So we start with that 12th on the B. We'll do that again twice. All right, so it's the same pattern, just different notes on each string. So then it goes to the 13th fret on the B string. And actually, here's when the pattern does actually shift a, a bit. It goes the same three notes on the top, except it goes 15 to 12 first, then 15 to 13, then 15 to 12. So instead of uh, just a way of looking at it, it starts with 12 here. So the notes are 12, 13, 12, 13 in between the pedal points and then the second time around when it starts on the 13th fret it's, it starts on 13 and then it reverses those notes on top 12 13 12 so we have this all right make sure it's a straight alternate picking starting with the downstroke on the b string all right, now we're gonna make it to the 14th on the B string. And then the notes on the high E will be 17 to 15, 17 to 12, 17 to 15, and then down that 17, of course. We have All Then the 15 on the B here for the next phrase. And this one's a little bit different. 17 to 13, then 17 to 12. Use your same finger there for that. Back to 17, back to 13. So we have this. All right, and then we're gonna go to starting the descending patterns. All right, so that part starts with the 15th on the B. Then 18, 17, 18 on the high E string. Then down to 14 on the B. Then 17, 15, 17 on the high E string. And then 13 on the B, 15, 14, 15 on the high E. Then move that first finger down to the 12th fret, same notes on the top string. Now we're gonna go 11th on the B string to 13, 12, 13 on the high E, and then move that first finger down again, one fret. All right, all the way down here to the ninth fret on the B, then 12, 11, 12 on the high E. And now move the first finger up one fret on the B string. The same notes on the top. So we have this.
All right, now most of the patterns are happening on the one string. So it's going to, uh, on the B string, 10, 13, 12, 12, 13. So we go 10, 13, 12. Do that pattern between 12 and 13. 10, 12, and 13. Then do the same pattern over 9, 10, and 12. Then 8, 10, and 12. Then I'm going to change it up a little bit. 7th on the G string. And then 10, 9, 10 on the B. Then 6, you're going to do this 6, 10, 8, 10 on the B string. Then shift down and do the same pattern you did here at the 7th fret here on the G string here, 5th fret, then 8, 7, 8 on the B. Play this. And then you're going to come up back to this 8th fret here, play it again, pull off 7, 6, slide down to five. And then grab the second fret on the G, and slide up, and do a whole set bend at the 15th fret on the B string. So that's that entire intro there. So it's a lot of notes, but you can just kind of piece it together. It happens again right before the guitar solo uh, later on. So let's start here now with the main riff. It sounds like this. All right, so we got a lot of fills that end this every single time, so I'm going to cover those as well. The main riff is happening all on the low six string, so we have this. We have five zero five zero, then hammer three to five, then open string then back to the fifth fret. So it's real important just to kind of be able to hum this a little bit, because it's just really three notes, but you got to really kind of lock in with it. Okay, so we have this so far. And then we're going to just descend. Five, three, zero. Then three, zero. And then another hammer, three to five. So we have this. So when it gets to the fourth time there, and we got a couple upstrokes here, this fill that uh, basically just when they kick into that riff, no vocals yet, just upstroke on the fifth fret on the B and the high E string together. So we this. Hold that, I mean, Kind okay, of a bend and release there at the seventh fret on the G. Pull off to five, back to seven, over to five on the B. And then you're going to pick the G string fifth fret, so you just kind of rolled over. A little bit of a harmonic, a little bend on there. Then seven, five on the D. Seven on the A, and then hammer five to seven twice on the B. I mean, D string. All right, then we're back to that main riff. Now I'll play through this main riff with the vocals. Uh, it's a little bit palm muted, and there's a little fills at the end of it. So it's like. <laughs> Alright, so we basically are uh, same riff, just kind of lay your palm down. So after three times you're gonna have this. So what it's doing five zero five zero. And then a, a art pinch harmonic there, the third fret on the low E string with a little slight bend. Okay. 
like this. And then 0505. Five, zero five. And then do the bend on the A string. And then 5 0. Back to the bend on the low E string. So the... All right, so he keeps going back through the rhythm again. We're going to hop to an A power chord. And that takes us to the chorus, which sounds like this. So we had that little thing there at the end, I'll show you in a second. So the chords are just power chords here, kind of fifth fret off the A string to the first fret to the third fret off the low E, and then the third fret off the A. So and then the second time around, it's fifth fret again to the first fret, straight to the third fret on the A, then to the A power chord. And he does a little bit of just a quick hammer on pull, zero, one, back to zero on the A string, over the third fret on the low E, back to the uh, power chord. Alright, so now coming out of that chorus to go back to the verse is a little kind of connector part there and it sounds like this. Alright, so we're going to be basically playing this rhythm, it's a little bit different to start it. So it's just really messing around. The, the zero the five zero five zero twice like we did earlier that bend on the third fret and then you just kind of playing five twice back to the three and then back to the three again so it's just really about feeling that rhythm then and then it kicks back into the normal rhythm so in the second time kind of halfway through the second time through it does this little build so that's 7th fret on the G to 6, then 7 on the D to the A, and then 5 on the D, 7 on the A, um, A string, then slide, pick 5, slide to 4. All right, so then the second time through the second verse, different fill in it, so let's play through that. All right, so same riff, it's just that fill in the middle um, is this. So it's pulling off 3 to 0 on the A string. Then a slight bend on the 5th fret. Release the bend, pull off to 3. And then slide 5 to 7. Then 5 on the D, back to 7 on the A, back to 5 on the D, back to 7. And slide down to the 5th fret. Three and five, three again. All right, so then it just kind of makes its way through the rest of the verse again. Same stuff, same chorus. Um, and then coming out of that second chorus, we get to that bridge section that leads us into the solo. So really cool guitar riff going on there. So let me play through that real quick. <laughs> 
Alright, so that leads us back into that same that starts the solo. So we're here at the third fret here on the low E string. So we have three on the low E, the fifth fret on the D, and then up stroke there. So I had to do that down, down, then up on the open D. Same uh, lick again, except there's a fourth fret there on the D string. For this one. And now you're gonna jump back. I like to play it like this. We're gonna play the second fret on the third fret there again. Second finger, sorry. And then to the third fret on the D. All right, so now you play those two notes. You're gonna play them again. You're gonna play the sixth string, fourth, then back to sixth. So play this. Then two, three, two, zero on the D string. Do that three times. And you're gonna end it with. So that's just. Now you got the open G, much easier to play. Open G, 12 on the G string, then open G twice. Then 11, open G twice, then 10. Now we're gonna jump down. This 10 on the G, 10 on the, uh, sorry, 10 on the uh, A string, it's a G note, to 10 on the G. Back to that A string. And you're gonna end it with 9, 10, 9 on the G, over to 12 on the D. All right, and then that's going to crank into that thing we did in the intro, and then we'll uh, get to the solo, which I'll take care of in the next video. I'll see you then.